My next guest knows a thing or two about that. He's the Hall of Fame quarterback, Joe Namath. By the way, he recently underwent a series of hyperbaric treatments the doctors claim reversed damage he'd suffered from years of brutal hits in the NFL. Joe Namath, welcome to the program, sir. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you. Would you describe these hyperbaric treatments? What did you do and what did it do to you? Well, knowing that I had had concussions, Stuart, I uh, reached out for some help because I wanted to find out if, in fact, I had traumatic brain injuries that we could do something about. I did take a nuclear scan. We found that the left temporal area of my brain and the back part was uh, getting uh, virtually no blood flow. Uh, so we did use a protocol process in a hyperbaric chamber. I did 120 dives after each 40. I was checked again, and uh, my cognitive test that I had taken before the dives, as well as uh, my brain in the scans, came back to normal. The tests improved with each uh, group of dives that I had taken, and the brain uh, showed a full blood flow and working wow. once again the way it should be. Now, is this a possible treatment for other NFL players who've ha who have concussion and, and damage? Are you putting this out as a, as a possible treatment for them? We're trying. We're trying. We sent my study to the FDA. They approved it. They wanted to see another hundred studies. So here at the Joe Namath Neurological Center, uh, Jupiter Medical Center, we're doing that study now. But it works, I promise yeah. you. Not just for traumatic brain injuries and not just for ath athletes. For a variety of brain ailments as well as uh, for children. Any there are more traumatic brain injuries around the country every day than there are in athletics, could, and we have discovered a help. Joe, for it. could you feel it? You said that your cognitive ability improved. Does that mean you could think more clearly uh, after the treatment? You know, I felt good beforehand. However, uh, I exercise more. I exercise more mentally now. I feel sharper than I had in the past. I had a lot of questions prior to doing the dives and getting help, and uh, those questions have uh, diminished. You know, I, I, I feel sharp. I'm as healthy as can be, and I'm very thankful for that. You look great. You absolutely look great. You really do. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to see you. <laughs> Dude, I feel good. And again, seeing those pictures, seeing the scan yeah. of the brain, and then seeing it during and after. Uh, it works. It's it gets the me. oxygen to your brain. That's what a hyperbaric chamber That's it. does. You know, it's almost so simple, but we can fast for a while, right? And we can go without liquids for a while. How long can we go without oxygen? Yeah, and really? pure oxygen, under pressure, getting <laughs> into every part of our body, our brain, we need it. It helps. How many treatments did you have? Uh, how many, you, you call them dives. I know that the hyperbaric chamber is used by divers who get the bends when they surface too quickly. How many times did you have to go into the chamber for the treatment? Well, have to or not have to. After 40 dives, we saw a clear improvement with the blood flow into the brain. We did another 40 dives. Uh, I ended up doing 120 dives over a period of uh, about seven months. Uh, the dives, uh, we go to it, they put you under pressure uh, called an atmosphere, two atmospheres, uh, like you're going down underwater. Uh, yep. pressure per square inch and uh, it can vary from individual to individual but uh, the atmosphere a atmosphere is 33 feet say you go down to 70 some feet or 80 some feet of pressure and they apply the pure oxygen yeah. the doctor's knowledge the protocol to process that's a key that's a major key but there's no doubt that the pure oxygen with the pressure combined is a major help for the physiology. Did it, did it help your memory? I, I ask because I wonder if you remember me. Uh, 1973, <laughs> it was the Stratford Motor Inn right next to I-95 in Connecticut. I was a waiter. The whole team came in. I served Emerson Boozer, remember him? And I served you. And you gave me a whopping great big tip. I don't suppose you remember me, but I remember you, Joe Namath. I do. I really do. 
Well, I remember you, Stuart. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here with you, buddy. You oh. were terrific, and uh, I was pretty easy to deal with at breakfast, right? <laughs> Tea and toast, <laughs> coffee and toast. What did we know then? Yes, <laughs> you were. And you still give a big tip, even though it was breakfast. Joe Namath. I have to, I, I'm sorry, but I've got to ask a very important question here. Hillary or Trump for Joe Namath? <laughs> uh, I think uh, knowing uh, the quarterbacking business, until you have to make a decision, <laughs> utilize the time to get everything straightened out and try to get the best possible call. He's scrambling. Okay. All right. Uh, you guaranteed that the Jets would win the Super Bowl. I remember that. I was in America then. Who are you going to guarantee wins the Super Bowl this year? Don't tell me the Jets. <laughs> I wish, I wish the Jets could get there. I'm hoping they make the playoffs. Uh, but more importantly to me at this time is the Alabama Crimson Tide winning uh, this next game against Michigan State and maybe winning the national championship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Joe Namath, it was an honor and a pleasure to have you with, uh, with us on the show. And congratulations on this successful treatment for concussions. Good stuff, sir. Really is. Oh, Stuart, it, it's a help. It's a major yeah. help. Good stuff. Joe, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank mm. you. Thank you.